Dan Houston is on the radar. We've been talking about Dan Houston for quite a while. You would have just seen in my previous video, uh, I talked about him as well, but this is a bit of a deeper dive into uh, Dan Houston, just like all the on the radar videos are. Um, so without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So Dan Houston, 27, uh, Port Adelaide, absolute star, was picked 45 in the rookie draft, right? Back in 2016, debuted 2017. Um, and at the moment, we'll get this out of the way, serving a five-game suspension. So he didn't play any of the finals. If he comes to Collingwood or if he goes to any sort of club, he's going to be missing. Um, so he missed the first few Port Adelaide finals. Uh, so he'll be missing two or so games uh, for any club that he plays at. Uh, so if he comes to the Pies, he'll be missing the first couple of rounds. But that doesn't bother me because he would be an insanely crazy good acquisition for us. Now, Dan has come out multiple times and said, I'm not leaving Port Adelaide. Look, I'll leave Port Adelaide if, um, if, if we can get a deal done. If not, I'll stay at Port Adelaide. So he does want to come home. He wants to come to a premiership club. He hasn't said where he wants to go yet, which I think is good. Like if you're saying, I want to go back home because I'm, I'm homesick, but send me to North Melbourne. I was like, well, if you were homesick for Victoria, We'll send you to any Victorian club that gives us a good deal, right? So he hasn't said who he wants to go to, but he has hinted that he wants to be a premier, he wants to be at a Premiership window club, which at the moment is us and uh, Carlton. North Melbourne probably have more draft capital. They've got a, a bunch of picks. They could split a bunch of picks if they wanted to, a couple of future firsts um, to hand to Port Adelaide. But if Dan Houston doesn't want to go there, they're probably not going to work out, even though I think, you know, if you're like I said, if you're homesick for for your state, you would go anywhere that's going to give your club at the moment the best deal. But nonetheless, he doesn't want to go to North Melbourne. Now, uh, like I said in my previous video, Carlton don't want to give up their first round pick. They want to just give their future future first uh, for Dan plus uh, a couple of other things. And Port Adelaide have vehemently come out and said we're not we're not going to give Dan away for anything less than his worth and you can start with that pick 12 or 13 or whatever it's going to be and that's that Gold Coast pick now we've talked a lot about John Noble how we want to get that pick 13 just watch my previous video uh, as I sort of deep dive into that and, and how we can get him but I think um, let's just say it all works out Dan Houston is just the obviously the perfect John Noble replacement Obviously, the perfect um, halfback replacement for a steel sideboard, for a Josh Dacos, for a Nick Dacos, for a Scott Pendlebury, um, who we probably would have rotated through there next season um, had we not had that half uh, that half back. Because I don't think you know TJ's not really obviously ready to to be that um, to be that sort of guy. But like, look at these stats, right? Dan Houston is ranked elite in the following stats. So these are all as a defender. He averages four inside 50s a game, 14 effective kicks in a game, 82 kicking percent, kicking percent, 82 percent kicking efficiency per game. These are all elite. Five score involvements and three and a half tackles. Let's just call them four tackles per game. That's all as a defender. Now you can see that that's an that's elite ball movement coming out of the half back line. I love Noble and everything he does, uh, but there are sometimes when you go, oh. Oh, he's done one noble thing. He has he's had a nobleism today. Oh, oh. Dan Houston, yes, he'll 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 mess up a bit, but Dan Houston is just elite. Literally elite. Factually elite coming off that half back line. That's why he's gone back to back with all Australians. Um and he would just send us to another stratosphere. If we want to have a premiership tilt, this is the guy we need. Yes, Harry Perryman's gonna help, but we need to go hard. Um, for Dan Houston and to, for what he can do, he'd be an asset for any club. But just for us, this, that elite ball movement coming out of the half back line, we don't have to rely on um, these other guys that can go back to doing what they do best. It would just be absolutely second to none in the competition. His best game this year came against the Hawks, where he actually kicked three goals, had 10 tackles, and 22 disposals. So um, you'd probably read it and see that Port. Uh, use him as a bit of a utility. They can put him wherever he sort of wants. After halfback, he, he's run through the middle a bunch of times, and obviously he can go forward and kick a goal. 
we wouldn't be using him uh, as a forward, maybe through the middle if we sort of need that bigger body, but he'd be predominantly staying at the half back line. And I think getting in Harry Perryman and Dan Houston would be such a big win. It reminds me of um, the 2022 uh, trade period where, you know, Tom Mitchell, Billy Frampton, Dan McStay, um, Bobby Hill, getting all these guys in and winning the premiership. 2025 is going to be special. I, I can feel it. And we we have to leave no stone unturned. Jeff Brown has come and said he, uh, earlier this year, he's come out and said um, teams go to the draft when they're down the bottom of the ladder. We're, we don't want to be down the bottom of the ladder. We need to trade in players. We're, I, I don't give a stuff if we don't have any picks going in. I know we need picks because we need to draft players. I don't give a stuff if we don't have any first round draft picks for the next couple of years. As long as we're getting in these fantastic players and Dan Houston is the guy that we need to just throw everything at. Gold Coast need to come to the party, give them whatever they want, give them a future first and give them John Noble and get back pick 13 and a future second or, or something like that um, to send it to Port Adelaide to, to, um, to, to give, give Port Adelaide their fix of, of what they need uh, and then give them Lukosius as well. So I personally think that if they don't want to play hard, sorry, if, if Carlton are playing hardball and Port Adelaide don't want that, I think we're in with a good chance. I honestly think it's about an 80% chance that Dan Houston comes to the club. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts down below on Dan Houston. Do you think he would be a good acquisition for the Pies? Let me know down below. But until then, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your pets. And until next time, double shackers. I'll sweep you later.